Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. So today we'll be taking a look at a portable projector and this here is a C900 Tumay projector. It comes inside a nice package. Inside the box you get a nice hard shell case for the projector. It has a nice zipper that glides smoothly. Inside you get the user guide that has a ton of information on how to use this. On the right side we have the charger and an HDMI cable. And this has a nice remote that has a rubbery texture on it. And this takes two AAA batteries and they are not included. This comes with a small tripod to mount the projector onto. This allows you to get a little extra height when you set the projector on the table and be able to adjust the angle of the projection and tweak it around until you get a good image. The projector feels pretty light and it comes in at 522 grams. You can pick it up in either black or white. And this is a really compact projector. It measures 3 inches by 3 inches on its side and it's 5.5 inches tall. It is slightly taller than a soda can. Taking a closer look at the design, it has a plastic outer shell with lots of holes around it. The front and back are just for looks, and the ones on the side house the speakers. On the front of the projector, there's a dustproof glass panel protecting the projection lens. Behind that is also the IR receiver for the remote. Taking a look at the top of the projector, it has the navigation keypad, volume button, and the power button. On the back side of the projector, there's two ventilation grills that will provide good airflow to the internal components and there's also a small fan inside to keep it from getting too hot. Back here you will find the power switch, a full HDMI port, the power port, a 3.5mm audio jack that you can hook up to your headphones or an external speaker. And there's also a USB-A port for an external keyboard and mouse combo or a USB flash drive. On the right side is the focus wheel that moves the lens inside closer and further away from the glass. On the bottom of the projector is a small 1 4th inch thread hole to put onto the small tripod. I will be using my own tripod with it which will allow me to move it around more freely without needing a little table to set it on. The projector has a native resolution of 854x480p and a brightness of 100 lumens so it will be best to view this in a dark room or with all the lights off. The projection range on this is 0.2 meters to 3 meters which is about 8 inches to 118 inches and you can get a screen size of up to 150 inches. The colors on this are pretty good, it pops without being oversaturated, and the image quality is pretty good, it doesn't provide a strong image clarity, but it is enough to enjoy a show or moving on. If this had a native resolution of 1280x720p, I think this projector would have been perfect. The awesome thing about this projector is that it is running Android 9.0. It has 2 gigs of DDR3 RAM and 32 gigs of storage. It is using a MediaTek 9632 processor with a Mali 450 MP4 GPU. I don't know exactly how good this is, but what I can tell you is that the projector is very responsive and it runs smoothly with no lag. The projector is equipped with Bluetooth 5.0, so you will be able to connect your Bluetooth keyboard, speaker, or headphones with it. The user interface is pretty simple, it has the Android and Apple casting option on the left side, and then the main apps on the right side like their own app marketplace, YouTube, Netflix, and the apps folder where you will be able to download more apps once you sign into the Play Store. This comes with Wi-Fi built in so you can connect it to your home and start watching some videos through YouTube straight from the projector. On the bottom section you can find the system settings where you will be able to make adjustments to the projector like change the brightness, keystone adjustments, you can manually adjust it or set it to automatic that does a good job. You can also adjust the vertical zoom and horizontal zoom. It also has trapezoid correction. You can adjust this so that you can set the projector on the side of the couch without it being at the center and still project a rectangular box. One thing I recommend doing right away when getting this projector is to turn off the boot sound since it is very loud and you can't adjust the volume for that. You can also check for a system update and change the fan speed from here. At the highest speed it has a noise level of 55 decibels, the middle one is at 45 decibels and the lowest one is at about 41 decibels. I kept the speed in the middle which is not that loud and it keeps the projector cool. This comes with two 5 watt speakers that sound pretty good. The audio does get distorted once you exceed 95% of its volume. I kept it at around 70% and it sounds good. It is clear but it lacks some bass. The experience was overall enjoyable. You can always hook this up to some speakers if you're looking for a better audio experience, but the built-in one gets the job done. So here's a quick audio sample so you can get an idea of how it sounds. Like you can trust anyone who wears a mask in tights. Right, now get out of here. I got a paper run too, you know. Close to that facility as we can. What ails this place? Doth everything not look peaceful and calm to thee? We'll see when we get a bit closer. 
The Winter Guard were unable to get this far. Sure is beautiful. Sure was beautiful? What is that thing? The source of the radiation spike. According to Wasp, the researchers have vanished. Let us sally to their aid. This projector comes with a built-in 5200 milliamp hour battery that will keep the projector running for approximately 2 to 3 hours depending on the volume and brightness you have this set to. Which is actually pretty nice considering how small this projector is. You can enjoy an entire movie before needing to recharge it. The nice thing about this is that you can continue watching your movie while it's charging. So there are a couple of ways of watching something from this. You can either cast to it from your phone or you can connect it to your laptop using an HDMI cable or you can use the built-in software and download your favorite streaming service onto the projector from the Play Store. You can also connect a Fire Stick or Chromecast to it. The old Google Chromecast will charge with the projector's USB port but the newest one won't. I really like how the new Google Chromecast interface looks like so that is what I will have plugged into this projector. Another cool thing is that I can control the volume of the projector and turn it off with the Google Remote. You can also plug your favorite gaming console to this. The clarity on this projector when pairing it up with a Nintendo Switch is really good. The quality to me at least looks slightly better than when connecting it to my laptop. This is a really nice portable projector you can take to the backyard and play your favorite game in a really big screen if you have one of those projector screens. Or if you don't you can just have it on the wall like I do. If you will be using the flash drive to play your movies from, you have to make sure it is a USB flash drive that is 3.0 or lower. It will not read files from a USB 3.1. Just a heads up. So this projector claims that it can play 4K videos, but when I tried to play my 4K videos on here, there was no image, only audio playing. With a 1080p video, it works fine, there's image and audio. I am not entirely sure if this will be the case for every other 4K video or movie out there. So this projector has a good color, a strong contrast, the blacks on here look black and not gray, which is nice to see. With all the features that it has and the portability, this makes for a nice little projector that you can take to your friend's house or camping. I will leave the link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Alright, so that concludes today's video. Thank you all for watching and I will talk to you on the next one.